everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And in this video, we're gonna go over how to test the Starlink Max 2 Fire Radio in dual SIM supervision mode. This is a dual path mode that will supervise both cell paths without the need for an IP connection. This is gonna simulate the AHJ test to show it fail from one carrier to another. So we're gonna start out with it on slot one, that's a Verizon carrier and we're going to remove the antennas. And then within 200 seconds, the radio will go into trouble. Output one will trip your zone or point on the panel. If JP2 is removed, it will also drop voltage to Telco 2 for self-supervision. Be advised the fire panel may have a, another delay before it goes into Telco 2 trouble based on the settings in that model. And then when it fails, it will switch carriers to the slot 2, the AT&T. Okay. As we can see, it went into trouble. The D5 light is blinking five times. And then when the radio switches to the second slot carrier, we will reinstall the antennas. All right, let's switch to the backup carrier. We're gonna install the left antenna first and then the right antenna. It will then connect to the other carrier and transmit a path failure of 788 zone 101 for the first slot to central station. Once it has transmitted the signal and connected to the other carrier, we're now going to switch back with the toggle button to the Verizon carrier. And then the radio will connect to that. Once it can connect, it will clear the trouble on the output one and restore voltage to Telco 2 if JP is removed for self-supervision. Okay, we reconnected to the Verizon carrier. Output one went normal. Telco two would now restore voltage and we are <clears throat> restored back to a normal condition. And we're going to repeat the test on the second carrier, AT&T slot two switching to slot one. So we're going to hit the toggle button to connect to AT&T, the secondary carrier. Okay, we've connected now, and we're gonna repeat the same test. We're gonna move the left antenna, and then the right antenna. And then within 200 seconds, the radio will go into trouble, just like on the first carrier so. Okay, as we can see, the radio went into trouble. The D5 light is blinking five times. Uh, Telco 2 voltage would be dropped if we're using self-supervision. It's gonna switch now to the Verizon carrier. We're going to install the left antenna. And then the right antenna. going to connect to the Verizon carrier and transmit the path failure for slot two, a 788 zone 102. So the radio has connected and transmitted the path failure. 
and then to clear it, just simply hit the button. It will toggle back to AT&T. And once it connects to that ta carrier, output one will go back to normal. Telco two will bring voltage back if JP two is removed for self supervision. And send a restore of the 788 zone 102. It reconnected. Output one is normal. It's sending in the restore. Now, just to review, we went over how to test the Starlink Max 2 for an AHJ acceptance test in dual SIM supervision mode. As always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napdosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.